The fashion industry has a larger carbon footprint than the airline industry. So says the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, a charity that specialises in the circular economy. But here on the sidelines of the Berlin Fashion Show, designers are doing their bit to green up the sector. These jackets are made from plastic collected in the ocean. Normally the fishermen would go out and they would throw the plastic back that was caught in their nets. But we started paying them for it instead. And the plastic is turned into yarn and the yarn is turned into clothes. This might look like a cotton t-shirt, but it's actually a hybrid. 60% cotton and 40% coffee. The designer is doing her bit to cut down on cotton use because on average it takes 10,000 litres of water to make just one kilogram of cotton. The coffee carbon fibre is a waste material from the coffee industry that has been processed. The special thing about it is that it has natural UV protection. It acts like a deodorant and it protects the skin. And of course it is recyclable, which is very important for us. And if you want to leave behind a smaller carbon footprint, perhaps try these shoes made with algae. Or even these ones that are putting old car seat fabric to good use. We need to, to use uh, the waste that we make uh, in all sorts of ways. So we thought, so why not make something really different? And these are not just wild ideas and prototypes. Thanks to the climate activist Greta Thunberg and her following of eco-warriors, demand is skyrocketing for ethical fashion. The whole Fridays for Future movement, the mindset of the generation that comes now is very different from the previous generation. Five years ago, there was almost no interest. Now you can't avoid it. The industry says sustainable streetwear is no quick passing fad. If these designers have their way, these new products and others like them could mark the end of throwaway fashion. Sarah Morris, TRT World.